Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today I want to talk about my six months of usage with the LG Wing. And I'm going to tell you right now, I absolutely love this device. I love the, the design and how innovative it is. <laughs> like this is just, is nothing on the market like this. I, I just love this device. I mean, I really do. You get them two displays. The first things like that I love about this is the display. Like, of course, I love the innovation of, you know, the, you know, the swivel, the, you know, the two displays on the swivel. But this display is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, 1080 full HD, 1080p display. Now, honestly, when I first you know, got this device and, you know, I saw that it wasn't a quad HD display, I was very disgusted because I'm like, why couldn't you put a quad HD display on here? But I will say this. The 1080s, the 1080p full HD display on this is absolutely beautiful. I have no issues with it. It gets bright enough. It's punchy with its colors. It's sharp. No issues. So if you're thinking about getting this and you're worrying about, you know, the display being great, don't worry about it. It is a awesome display. You will absolutely love it. And look at it. You got these, you got no bezels on the side and very thin bezel at the top and the bottom, if you can see. See that thin bezel up there and very thin bezel at the bottom and none on the sides. It's slightly curved, but the display is absolutely beautiful. And with the second display, you got it. And keep in mind, the main screen is OLED and the secondary screen is G OLED. So both displays are beautiful. Both of them. So I love that. And as you can see, it's just it's just so awesome to be able to flip this open like this and be able to watch media content. And you could just do so much with this device. Now, I already did a full, you know, a full uh, review on this. So I'm not going to get into all the details with the device. But I just want to let you know what my six months of uses has been. And I will say it's been great. Of course, I love the always on display. Love this. Me and my boy there, time, date, battery percentage. You can see the, you know, your notifications. I love LG's always on display. To me, they were second right behind Samsung when they were in business. Of course, you see the fingerprint sensor here. It doesn't stay on all the time, but it works well. So it's not a bad fingerprint sensor. Not my favorite, you know, but, you know, I just hate that I can't see it all the time, but it works well. And it has a little haptic feedback and it does have a little animation. You could change the animations as well. Now, the one thing I do really miss, and I hate that this phone don't have it, of course, is there's no face unlock. Like, I just hate only having one biometric way to open my device. So I just really wish they had put face unlock on this device. I mean, it has a front facing camera, so I'm just not understanding why it could not have a face unlock. I don't, I don't get that, but. You know, it is what it is. It's just, you know, some honestly, a lot of times I forget that it doesn't have it because I'll just hit the power button and and I'll be waiting for the display just to, you know, get me into my phone. I forget that it does not have face unlock. So that's something that kind of annoys me, but it is what it is. Now, one of my other things that I love, too, about this device is it has expandable storage, something that is dying on all flagship phones if it's not already dead. I think Sony is probably the only company that still offers expandable storage on a premium device. Other than that, all other companies have killed expandable storage on premium devices. Now, you can still get it on mid-rangers. You could also get it in tablets. And you could also get it in budget devices. But for some reason, they want to charge you the most money for a device and not give you expandable storage. I really, really hate that. And I'm not going to be forced to buy a phone that don't have it. I'm not like I'm, I got a bunch of phones and as long as they are working fine and I'm not having no issues with them, <laughs> I got plenty of phones with expandable storage. So that's not going to be an issue for me. Next performance. Now the performance on this phone is just buttery smooth. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to start that. I was just trying to let you see how fast it opens up apps. I mean, this thing is buttery, smooth, no issues at all. You can see how bright the display is. I mean, no problem at all with this 
device when it when I'm talking about you know performance how it goes in and out of apps sometimes it actually feels like it has um what do you call that a high refresh rate you know when I'm scrolling but it doesn't I mean but the thing is very very smooth no issues at all I just I, I really I really love this device I really do I love it a lot <clears throat> just in and out I know I keep sometimes I'm gonna keep open up the same map but just trying to give you an idea now I'm not saying this is this is you no know, it's um other devices are not faster of course there's some other devices that are a little faster but when it comes to just overall performance I mean seriously no issues with this device at all you know no lag nothing everything runs really 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 fast no issues at all when it comes to performance now only negative thing and it's not the biggest deal to me now everybody's different but i'm still stuck on android 10 <clears throat> i'm not sure why i didn't get android 11 but i'm still stuck on android 10 but i will say this i have had no performance issues at all with this device zero so the fact that it doesn't have the latest version of android does not bother me okay now i don't have any security patches recently that don't really bother me either because I use apps, the apps, certain apps that I use really, you know, they're secured. So I'm not really worried about that either, honestly. And it does have its own built in security. So security is not the biggest deal to me. Now, I can't speak for other people. For some people, they just have to have, you know, uh, security patches and, you know, they need the latest and greatest and, you know, the, the latest updates. It just doesn't bother me like that, honestly, especially if the phone is running fine. And honestly, I'm not having any issues with this phone at all. I mean, zero issues. So I love it. Now, the speaker, spell only one down firing speaker. I hate that <laughs> because this phone would have been so awesome had it had dual stereo speakers, especially when you put it in that flip mode like that and you had a speaker come, you know, sound coming at the top and the bottom. It would have been great. Now, I will say this even though it only has the one down firing speaker. It is pretty loud, honestly, and it does have good sound. Not the best, but for one down firing speaker, it is very loud and it does have good quality sound. I just hate that they missed out by not putting dual stereo speakers on it. Now, when it comes to battery life, the battery life on this. Now, I know some, you know, people that reviewed this phone said the battery life wasn't that good. Now, I don't play games on my phone. Honestly, I'm not a gamer. Now, I use my phone mostly just, <clears throat> you know, for like Facebook, um, Instagram, surfing the net, watching movies, YouTube, just stuff like that. And I got my brightness at almost like 97 percent brightness. But that's what I usually do with my phone. So the most heavy stuff I do with it is probably watching movies and also watching a lot of YouTube videos. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm well over. I'm well, I'm almost at 60% battery life. So the battery life for me on this device has been great. I can literally get into the next day with this device. And it only has a 4,000, I think it has a 4,000 milliamp battery or 4,300. I'm not, I really don't remember at the moment, but the battery life for me has been fine. No problems at all. You know, I, I could definitely get to a full day easily. And most times I can get into the next day. Other thing, LG kind of blew it to me on this device also. No headphone jack, no quad jack. That would have been so great had they put that on here. That would have been really, really nice. So that was a big disappointment. And it's something that it's just hard getting used to with a phone this premium, not having a headphone jack and no quad jack and no dual stereo speakers, no face unlock. It's just hard for me to just fathom that because this device is so unique. I mean, seriously. There, you ain't, there ain't no device out there that does this. None. I mean, this just this device is awesome. And you also have a gimbal mode on this thing. Look at this. You got a gimbal mode on this. Where you can move the camera to the left or to the right and up and down. I mean, it's this is just awesome. Seriously. I mean, I just, I just love this device, honestly. Seriously. And the photos... Photo quality on it is very good. You got three cameras on here. Now I can let you see some photos if you want, but you all you got to do is really just check out my um, full review on this, and you'll see 
the photos. It does take good quality photos. Now, when you go into the camera, of course, you got time lapse, video, photo, portrait mode, stickers. With more, you got night view, panorama, manual camera, which is awesome. Manual video is amazing. I shoot most of my YouTube videos with this uh, phone. You got slow motion, YouTube live, one shot. Um, no, that's cinema shot, sorry. 360 panorama and AR stickers. So the camera is pretty cool. The camera, I'm not saying it's, um, you know, it's better than some of my other cameras. No, but it holds its own, honestly. It holds its own. It's a very, very good and capable camera on here. And the video um, on here is very, very good as well. And the stabilization is excellent. So my six months of usage with the LG Wing has been great. Like I said, no issues with this phone at all. None. Except the things that are missing from it. Like no headphone jack, no quiet HD. I mean, no, no headphone jack, no quiet DAC. No dual stereo speakers and no face face unlock. But other than that, love this device. You know, everything else is on point as far as I'm concerned. And when you go and you're around people and they're looking at you and you do this. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess with them. And then on top of that, now you can do this. You got your little. You got your little mouse here where you, this is the way you can control this screen without having to trying to stretch to do it. You just use your mouse and use this to slide up and down and to the side to side. See like this. See, look, see that I can go to my other stuff just by doing that, just by sliding this bar at the bottom. So I'm telling you, all this phone is just is this phone is the bomb. Then say if you want to press this one, you, you want to watch a movie, you could just hold it like this. You don't have to worry about you know messing with the screen and you can still you got your always on display down there and you can still see the time the day the date battery percentage and you still get your notifications you don't get your notifications up here you get them down here so it doesn't disturb your media experience so i love that you can just turn that off scroll this down again let me see i forgot what you do with this okay i guess i have to be doing something to interact with these uh these other two um, things here, but also even down here, excuse me, you got your apps, you know, you got your dual apps. You can cl click on that. You can see. You got YouTube up here and I got Amazon down here. See that? I can watch a YouTube video up here and I got Amazon down here. How cool is that? That's that's just look. I love that. I really do. So to get rid of that, I could just bring it down here and then just swipe out. Look, y'all, I'm telling you, if you're interested in this device, I'm telling you to go get it. Now, it's, it, I think you can get it around between four or five hundred bucks, which is still a good deal. But you should definitely pick up this phone. The main thing I'm the reason why I'm going to tell you to pick it up is because of innovate is innovative. There's nobody, you ain't going to really see really nobody walking around with this. I don't know anybody that has this device, not one person. So when it comes to innovation and being unique and being different and standing out, you're going to stand out with this device. No question about it. <laughs> no question about it. So that if that could be the number one reason I'm telling you to get it, that would be it. Just innovation and unique. And it's a good quality device overall. So you can't go wrong with the LG Wing. So thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.